Hi everyone, this is Tej and we are back with another video. This video is another video in the series of Dialogflow and we are going to explore one more feature of Dialogflow and this feature is very very useful for n number of uh, scenarios. Mostly let's say we have a banking service and we want to create an FAQ service for that. Dialogflow will take 10 minutes to create that. Any FAQ you want to create, you can create your FAQ chatbot within 15 minutes maximum. And it's a very easy process, so anybody can do that as well. So no programming needed. And you can create your FAQ bot within few minutes. So what is the feature in Dialogflow that helps you create your own FAQ? Let's figure out that first one. So when we say what is the feature, basically that's called knowledge base. Knowledge base. Right now, I have one. I'll delete it and I'll show you how does it work. Okay, fine. Let's let's create another FAQ and uh, you'll see all the things. Before moving to create a FAQ bot, we will see what are the prerequisites required for this one. So all you need to do is knowledge base is available for the beta version for now. So you have to enable the beta version for your Dialogflow agent. So you go to the settings page. And in the settings page, you can see enable beta features for your API. That you have to do. So initially, it is in the untoggle state. You have to toggle it to on, and then you have to click on the save button. And your chatbot will be ready for the knowledge beta feature. So once you land on this page, once you click on the knowledge beta, you come on this page, and it asks you to create a knowledge base. Right now, I have one, but will create another one. So how does it look like? You come to knowledge base, you enable the feature, you come to the knowledge base name. So you have to provide, I'm gonna call it a demo FAQ, I guess. Since we are just trying to demo for it. So meanwhile, it's creating, so I'll just give you a brief information about what is FAQ, knowledge base. So knowledge base actually represents a collection of the documents that you provide to your Dialogflow agent. So whenever a customer comes and asks this question, you don't have to do so much coding behind the scenes. You don't have to much, uh, you know, logics behind the scenes. You don't have to add so much utterances, so much response for that. Instead, you can just simply provide a CSV file or HTML file having all the question and answer. So Dialogflow is actually smart enough to understand, okay, this question is asked and Based on that, it will be provide. It will be able to provide you the correct answer. So for that purpose, you can use knowledge beta feature. Get everything that one. Now, there's one more interesting thing about it that to create a knowledge base, you can have either a HTML FAQ file or you can have a CSV file of question and answer. Well, both things work. So uh, since we have created this demo FAQ, now we we are in that particular knowledge base. If we go and check it out. So you see here we have created this, Once we'll go in this one and it says as of now there is no document available so we'll create a document for this one and then we'll do the, we'll see the responses. Okay so you have to cre click on the create one. So that was just a knowledge base, knowledge base actually can, can contain a lot of uh, you know uh, FAQ files and you can create different documents for all of your organization so let's say if I have a banking user banking I'm creating it for HDFC I could have a credit card FAQ I could have a home loan FAQ and others FAQs as well so I can create different documents for that particular knowledge base and that then I can use it okay let, let me just give it a name of demo and I'm gonna provide the knowledge type which is FAQ MIME type is going to be HTML. Why? Because I'm not going to provide a CSV file. we will have to write it down and then provide the question and answer in the separate columns. Instead of that, I can just provide a simple HTML. Now we have to provide a data source. Now there are three options for the data source. One is file on the cloud storage. So you can actually have your uh, file available on the Google Cloud or any other cloud where we have the access. Okay, so you ha it has to be a uh, public uh, uh, view file. So if you are going to host it on S3 bucket on AWS, make sure it's a public file. It should have the access for the public. Uh, uh, same, similar to any other cloud as well. Then we have a data URL available. We can provide a HTML page URL. That also works fine. And if you want to upload any file from your own computer, that also can be done. So since we just have selected the FAQ and HTML, so we have only this option left with us. 
so uh, what i'll like do i'll go to a dummy faq template site this is my dummy faq template site and i'm gonna take out this link i'll copy this and i paste it over here once i paste it over there this button gets enabled you can see and there's one other feature which says enable automatic reload so it says by enabling this auto reload dialogflow will automatically reload the document every day at a time picked by the system this feature is only available for the document source from public urls so make sure if you are going to want if you want this automatic reload so dialogflow will actually reload it at a specified time according to the system but your file should be having a public access okay so if i want to do this i'll enable this and then i'll click on the create button so as soon as i click on the create button I should be able to see that my document will be created. So I'll let it be created. So now nowadays, if you'll go to any site, any website, you will see there there is a FAQ page. But instead of that FAQ, if you go to a chatbot site, which actually any site, which is now by default is supporting chatbots, you can actually see there is a the, the if you ask any question, you will get an answer. So it's not like that they have provided. every possible question you can ask and you can think so they have done it configured it for that one no so it's like they have they might have created a knowledge base for all the possible questions and whenever you enter that dialog flow will be able to understand you okay this is the question is being asked and based on that question a dialog flow will pull the correct answer for you so that what happens at the behind, at the you know behind this okay let's it, it's created so we'll what we'll do now So now let's go and check for how do I the first thing I actually checked up, and I want to check how do I change my password because that's one of the question here. How do I change my password? I was actually confused that all the answers are same, but yeah, the language is same. So anyway, the last one which we get is actually Aquarium, so we should get it if I I had no click on this one. So you will see the answer comes, and it ends with Aquarium. That's fine. So, but it may be different. So let's check it for another one. How do I sign up, or can I remove my post? Yeah, let's check for this one. Can I remove? It? So I'm gonna type in Can I remove my post? As soon as I hit the enter, I should be getting okay. This this is the answer. Is this correct? Yeah, it ends with valid and distinct queue. So that's fine. So we're getting the answers correctly. So our FAQ bot is actually working. So let's let's give it another hit in our web demo. So what we'll do? We'll go to the integration. We'll click on the web demo. We will uh, click on this one, and it will take us to the web demo part. And now I want to say, how do I change my password? If I hit the answer, I should be getting a huge answer in I don't know which language, but yeah, we get it. Okay, so this is what we get here. This is a huge answer actually. Now I say, how uh, can I move my post? Let's hit the answer on this one. And yeah, absolutely, we get this. Lauren Ipsum Dollar said, "Oh, yeah, but second you sure added piece of scene, Ellen." So we get the answers offices, from our FAQ bot, and that's how you create your FAQ bot. And you click the next one. So you can future. give it a try. Magnum, this is a very nice Rishandis, package, actually. And there's one more thing here: add this knowledge results preferences. So actually, you can say, and you can actually specify that how strongly do you prefer your knowledge results. So as of now, it's in the mid. So it's like 50-50 percent. So if the query score matches 50 percent, it will give you an answer. And uh, similarly, same thing you can check out here as well. User says uh, this was a user query which we had. This is the answer which we are getting. Now we have one interesting thing here, which is diagnostic info. So we can actually check everything what happens. So this is the query text which we get, and this is the answer which we get. So now what happens at the back end is this intent gets called, which is basically a knowledge base. So it's going to the knowledge base. Intent detection confidence confidence score is 0.971, which is quite good. And now there are knowledge answers which we get for this particular question. Based on that, we take the 
first one we take it dialogue flow takes the first one which is the higher or your or we can say highest scoring intent and that is this one this one which we get as an answer so that's how it works the knowledge basis that's it for today the knowledge base you can create your fq bot within few minutes try it for yourself and if you don't if you have any issue you can comment on this video i'll be able to answer thank you so much have a good day